Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I cannot leave, Serana. Come on, let's go home. What stands before us is the epitome of the darkest of evil. The antithesis of everything that I am. I'm glad we found the scroll. It must be destroyed. I wish she could come with us. Stendar, I call so upon your per home. your so power and your mercy. And you, Serana. I'm sorry, but this is going to hurt. I tried to get I you to stay you back, but you just wouldn't listen. All right, Stendar. Now. Let's see if your blood has enough power to it. All right, Firestorm. What else? I'll try two of them. Magic, it's gone. We'll do this another way then. over for you, unknown. I'm not sure where these meteorites are still falling from, but this fight is finished. And you survived as well, Serana. Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Come on, let's go. <sighs> we'll leave in a moment. A dark soul gem summons a phantom of Dragonborn for 85 seconds. A dark steel sword releases magic with power attacks. Evil dragon blood. For 20 seconds, you will be invincible against all attacks. Evil power. For 30 seconds, time between shouts is reduced 100%. All right, I think I'm almost at my limit here. We'll stop at this. And what have we here? Circlet of Conquest. Take up to 22% less damage from enemy attacks. The further their health falls below 50%. I think I know that. And we will take the Grand Soul Gem. All right. I'm glad we found the scroll, but I... I'm I glad to. come with us. This fight wasn't as uh, bad as I thought, although I am completely covered in blood. All right, let's get out of here. And are you... Glad we found do I need to tell you to follow me? This place makes me a little uneasy. All right, I think you're... You're already following me, even though I told you twice to, to wait. Some people are just so stubborn. It is time to get out of here. It's time to get back to Tamriel, to Skyrim. We now have the Elder Scroll that we need.
So thinking back on that fight, I'm not sure that that creature was quite a vampire. As my master spell, the Bane of the Undead, really didn't seem to affect it. At least the, the Firestorm did have an effect on it. Though not as much as I would have liked. But I have to say, I enjoyed finishing off that being you know, with just my hands, with my mace. So all in all, I'd say he wasn't as tough as he looked. All right, there it is, the entrance to the soul cairn. And Arvac's owner never showed up. I don't know if I was supposed to give him the skull or not, but I'm sure I can sell it for a, a nice price. Because I certainly don't want to be conjuring demonic creatures. Certainly not the image that the Vigil wants to maintain. Let's go. tell you how overjoyed I am. I'm no fan of the sun, but it would be better than this. All right, we need to get back to Fort Dawnguard with the Elder Scroll. Well, here we are, one transcontinental trip later. It's interesting how this castle is on one side of Skyrim and Castle Volgar is on the other. Did they plan it this way? <laughs> All right, I think we're looking for Dexian. Dexian? Dexian, what happened? I trust your journey was successful. I... I brought the Elder Scrolls. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. What? By the Divines, what happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after-effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Hmm, that sounds like an understatement. So, that covering... on your eyes... Are you... Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. Can anything be done to help you? Perhaps a healing spell? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. No. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? I really hadn't given it that much thought. But what is it that I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. <laughs> okay. Well, I have Stendar to protect me. Just tell me what it is I need to do. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim, in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain this ritual. 
It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract ancestor moths to you. Once enough of the moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the bark. How? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. I'm not sure I understand your answer, but okay. What do you know about the Elder Scrolls? Not as much as I would like. Even after spending decades of my life in study of the Elder Scrolls, they remain a great mystery to me. It's true for most of my brothers in the Order as well. We don't really know where the scrolls came from or who wrote them. What we do know is that some are born with the special gift to read the Elder Scrolls. These chosen few can divine events of the past and future within the scrolls, though in time it drives us to blindness. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell. Even today, the Elder Scrolls remain a great enigma. And how is a moth related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. No, I, I have The voice of the Ancestor out. Moth has always been voice. an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. But moths. They barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls, but they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. How does that help the moth priests? By having the ancestor moths close to the moth priest, they can utilize the conduit and share the moth's augury. Only the most augury. resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. And here I thought that Augur was just a title. So much I have to learn. Then how do I even stand a chance? You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. All right. Good luck. I hope you find the answers you seek. I Thank hope we you. reach Ancestor Glade I'm soon. I'm so sorry for your... Infirmity. I've helped you all that I can. The rest is up to you. All right, Serana. I've yep. helped you all that I can. The rest is up oh, to you. Very well. Ah, someone left out some gold for me to help with my travels, I'm sure. Serana, I know you're going to bother me about how soon you'd like to get there, but I am nearly over encumbered with the equipment that we picked up in Castle Volgahar and I need to sell it off and prepare myself for what is to come. All right, be that way. Some people just like to have things their way and they can't see it any other. All right, it's time. Oh, oh, now you're coming, all right. Time for me to find a shop to get rid of some of this stuff.